this. So I'm in the doctor's office. <sighs> Today's officially my last doctor's visit before it's baby day. We are getting so close. So the doctor's appointment went great. Before I head home to uh, Hannah Grace and Little Hars, I decided to stop and get me something to eat. And it was so good, y'all. But yeah, anyway, um, I just kind of wanted to sit, come on here really quickly and just kind of talk briefly about the fact that I have been actually fasting for about three weeks now. And just fasting from all social media platforms and, you know, just not choosing not to scroll and everything but to take this time to literally just pray and seek god and just really um just get quiet so that i can hear him clearly when it comes to um getting ready to give birth and experience postpartum and everything all over again one thing that i can say um about that i didn't do last time that i you know have done this time around is um i've prepared ahead of time for the aftermath and a lot of people um if you notice, um, you, we we do all the shopping for the baby. We do all the shopping for the postpartum physically. Um, if you have a vaginal birth, a lot of people will go and get the peri bottles and the kits and the ice pads and all the different things that we need for our bodies and for our babies physically. But what we fail to do a lot of times is, especially if you are a believer, is to take time beforehand and not wait until we're in the thick of things to start being concerned about ourselves like mentally and emotionally um childbirth is a lot and that is something that i definitely you know learned being a first-time mom a year ago and having my twins and everything it was a beautiful thing do not get me wrong oh my god they were my rainbow babies i was grateful to god they were healthy they were just cute everything <laughs> Everything I literally could have ever imagined or wanted and desired, God blessed me and I was grateful for that. But it did not exempt me from experiencing the human experience. I'm not gonna say I did not experience postpartum depression. I feel like I did maybe a week or two, um, but it wasn't anything long and drawn out at all. I um, mean, it didn't get severe. I had an amazing support system and you know, just um, God really helped me to not, um, have to experience too bad however i do believe that what i did experience i could have prepared myself spiritually ahead of time for that and not have waited and just allow it for it to hit me like a ton of bricks afterwards we all know that when a woman has a baby that your hormones have to take time to settle and to go back into place and not just your hormones but you know you're dealing with a whole lot of changes physically emotionally mentally all of that literally and because of that you know you're sleep deprived you're trying to raise this baby or babies and everything and be a good mom trying to do all the things get used to um, motherhood everything is new things have been shifted and on top of all of that you've still got to get back to normal yourself like you know you're normal well you know you'll never be your old self again <laughs> but and that's a whole other conversation but in the midst of all of that it does, it can affect you. In my case too, which I will film a video on one day, my twins were preemies. So because they were premature babies, they dealt with some developmental delays. And when I say that, I'm saying like, Hannah had to stay in the NICU for about a week and a half because she had to learn how to suck, breathe, swallow, like drink her milk, breathe at the same time and swallow at this all at the same time and so because her little body wasn't really fully developed when she was born at 34 weeks um it kind of caused for her to her heart rate would drop because she is trying to learn how to do all three of those things at the same time so we had to deal with that with her and then both babies had acid reflux really bad so they spit up a lot and when they weren't spitting up um we would have to deal with them with milk like coming out of their nose and everything and it would kind of choke them up to where they couldn't breathe and so i'm having to suction out every few minutes um every day and it's like the more i kind of had to navigate this um reality it it got tough and 
Um, I'm having pregnancy brain so bad. Holy Spirit, help me. What I'm saying is, just like God has given us the tools for every other situation in life, God has given you the tool as a mother to pray and like I'm saying like take the time to pray and fast ahead of time and prepare yourself to spend time with the Lord listen to worship music um get into the word you know speak to your situation speak positivity over your circumstances do that intentionally on the front end so that when you know these weapons arise from the enemy because we know that they're designed to try to take you out but we'll be ready I'm not saying that me spending time fasting and everything beforehand is going to prevent me from having to experience life. Life is going to life for everybody. But what I am saying is that I'll be more prepared to fight through it. You'll be more, you'll be stronger mentally. God said in his word that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So what does that mean? That means if we want to be able to fight back the enemy who's trying to already attack this mom brain of yours, your hormones, your emotions, and everything that's all over the place, if you know it's coming, are you going to ignore it or are you going to prepare yourself? That's just like when they tell us on the news a tornado is coming, for example, or it's about to snow. Do you just ignore it or do you go and you prepare and you go to the store, grocery store, if you don't have groceries and you get the necessary things that you need to get and all of the essentials, it's the same way. We know what to expect when it comes to childbirth and postpartum. So just in a nutshell, because I know I said a whole lot and it took me a lot to all go all around the world, just make my point. But what I'm saying is just like you would prepare for anything else, prepare yourself mentally and emotionally and what i can say is that i've already noticed a difference this time around i'm already ready to walk into this thing stronger mentally and emotionally like you know with the word of god being my weapon to fight back with like i'm ready i'm grateful to god for telling me you know to do that when i literally heard him tell me about three weeks ago to go ahead and fast um until the baby gets here and that's what i'm doing and i've been able to see a huge tremendous difference um when it comes to the preparation of things when it comes to the peace that resides in me but i just wanted to get that out there really quickly and just tell y'all like just how good god is and he's literally allowed for this to be a beautiful thing and i'm gonna go ahead right now and speak into the atmosphere at the end of the day we know that god's will is what's going to be done but there's not going to be anything that's going to go wrong, any complications. And I speak into the atmosphere that God is going to get the glory out of this and that all will be well, a peaceful birth. It's going to be a positive birth in Jesus name. And I plead the blood of Jesus right now over myself and over my baby. Let's not let this sneak up on us, you know. So let's get ready together, mamas. Um, we're going to be fine if you're pregnant with me. I'm praying for you, hoping that, you know, um, you have a beautiful and a safe and healthy delivery and recovery and everything as well. God has been good. God is good. God is good all the time. Um, and all is going to be well. And I'm going to keep you guys updated and posted. I'm headed home now to go ahead and start, um, well, not start, but finish getting his room together and getting my bedroom together like he'll be in the bassinet for a few months we know that um and just yeah tying up all of the loose ends basically y'all keep us in your prayers i can't wait to share my new little bundle of joy with you guys and so yeah talk to y'all soon good morning everybody so today is baby day oh my gosh <laughs> um today is june 28th it is currently for something in the morning we're trying to get out of here we have to be there at 5 15 and yeah just want to show y'all real quick a few things that i did to prepare my babies for me leaving so i labeled like their meals that they're gonna have you know throughout um the duration of time that i'll be gone